It truly is a special day. On this day, back in 1947, Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier. It predated the civil rights movement, which happened in the mid-1950s. Truly is an American icon. And Nick Nestrini makes his Major League Baseball debut. We're going to see some pretty good stuff. The question will be, can he locate it in what will be a very emotional start for him, his Major League debut? So we'll see how Nestrini does. I'm sure a lot of butterflies as he's set to work against Michael Garcia. Pop up on the infield to the right side. Andrew Vaughn at first base will make the catch. And now Bobby Witt Jr. His first major league strikeout, and it comes on Bobby Witt Jr. There's the Nestrini family. You have to be ecstatic. You take down their best player on strikes, it's a changeup. Two down the batter, Vinny Pasquantino. Pasquantino with a weak ground ball to first. There's the flip, and Nestrini steps on the bag. A 1-2-3 first inning in his Major League debut. And now Seth Lugo. Three starts and three quality starts. Sure enough, he's going to attack the zone. He likes to throw strikes, keep his pitches down, and use that defense. Here's Andrew Benintendi, the left fielder. That one is well hit out into right field. And Andrew Benintendi has a one-out single here in the first. First pitch now to Andrew Vaughn, and he pops it up, got jammed right side. Frazier angles back into shallow right, makes a one-hand catch. And Vaughn's out, two gone. Brings up Gavin Sheets. Plenty of room. And Vinny Pasquantino is there, so Lugo, just like Nastrini, has a scoreless first inning. And now MJ Melendez. Second strikeout for Nick Nastrini. The two down here in the second, now it's Nick Lofton. Got him swinging. Third strikeout for Nick Nestrini. Yeah, he is nasty on the mound. Yeah, I mean, that's the wipeout slider you're looking for. So far, it's eight up, eight down for the Royals against this 24-year-old right-hander, Nick Nestrini. Broken bat. And through three innings, Nick Nestrini has faced the minimum in his Major League debut. Former Royal Nicky Lopez leads off in a nothing-nothing deadlock. Lopez. He is slow to get down the line at first. And we're going to hope that Nicky Lopez is okay. And right there, it looked like he turned that ankle on the left foot. We'll have to see how he comes away with that. Bobby Grossman flied out to center field in the first inning. Freddie sets up inside. And it's a fastball up. And Lugo has his first strikeout. That's hard hit. But Bobby Wood Jr. is playing the middle. And that had some spin on it, hitting the front of the mound. And Seth Lugo has his first one two three inning. We have no score at the end of three. Michael Garcia leads off one and two to Garcia. Blew him away with the heat. Four strikeouts for Nestrini. That brings up Bobby Witt Jr. Nestrini working out ahead 0 2. Fifth strikeout for Nick Nestrini. OK. Martin wants a high fastball and that's exactly where Nick gets it. Here's Vinny Pasquantino. The 2 1. Pasquantino drills it deep to straightaway right. Grossman turns around. That's long gone. Vinny Pasquantino homers for the second straight game. His third home run of the season overall. And the Royals are on the board first tonight. It's 1 0 in the top of the fourth. 421 feet. A ball that left the bat at 108 miles an hour. Then it's Andrew Vaughn. And now Vinny goes into foul ground, and he's got it going into the netting. It's the Vinny Pasquantino show in the fourth inning tonight. Yeah, he stayed with that nicely. Now, typically, ball comes back a little bit, but it seemed like it was heading for the net there, but Vinny's able to use his height. That brings up Dominic Fletcher. Fastball called strike three. Letter high got him looking. Dominic Fletcher's down on strikes. That ends the bottom of the fourth. And Estrini's still only allowed one hit. And that'll be down for a base hit. Base hit number two for the Royals. And really their only true base runner because the first was Vinny Pasquantino's home run. So two outs and it's up to Kyle Isbell with runners on first and second. And there's a ground ball left side. Lofton comes around third and he will beat the throw. And a nice easy swing by Kyle Isbell gives the Royals a 2 nothing lead. Well now it's an opportunity for Bobby Witt Jr. to blast this game wide open. Base is loaded. Two outs in the top of the fifth. Went fastball. And Bobby Witt delivers the center. Fletcher makes the catch at the wall. The Royals leave the bases loaded and Nestrini gets out of the jam. And that'll bring up Andrew Vaughn. Runner at first. Nobody out. The pitch swing and a grounder to third. 
Michael goes to second one. Frazier the relay. Two. Five, four, three. Around the horn they go. A double play. He races the base runner, and now there are two down with nobody on. Oh, five, four, three, two hopper right there. Got plenty of time. Good rifle arm across the diamond. So go to work on Gavin Sheets. And that is six scoreless innings for Seth Lugo. Another six inning start for the Royals. Lugo nursing a 2 0 lead. Roll to Bobby Wood Jr. And Sosa is 0 for 3. Dominic Fletcher off the end of the bat. So he continues to change speeds and get soft contact. It was a very quick bottom of the sixth inning for Lugo. Seven pitches, all of them strikes. And now he's gotten two outs with four pitches in the seventh. And a swing and a grounder right to Adam Frazier at second. He'll pick it up. Fired to Vinny. That's the inning. Seven scoreless innings tonight for Seth Lugo as we go to inning number eight. With the Royals up 2 0. So back to back walks with two outs. And will bring up the dangerous MJ Melendez. Puts this one in play, left field. And Benintendi will squeeze it for the third out. White Sox trail by two. The new pitcher, Michael Kopech. Blew him away, 99 upstairs. With that shape and that velocity, is almost impossible to hit. Yep. And for Mean. Back to the middle, off of Kopech. And Fermin is going to be safe, and then Kopeck ends up on his backside. Well, we'll see if Michael is okay because it looked like, number one, the ball hit him maybe on the wrist, then the slip, the fall, and hopefully he's going to be okay. You see the left leg go out from under him. Well, he said, hey, I'm, I'm good to go. Two and two on Isbell. Here it comes. Swing and a miss, strike three. And we head to the bottom of the night. Let's see if the Sox can get something brewing. Here's James MacArthur coming on for a save, and he has one already for Chicago, but it truly was a save. He had to come in the middle of the ninth inning in relief of Will Smith and got a big game ending double play. Gavin Sheets to the plate, and look who's on deck. He got Eloy Jimenez. All Gavin has to do is get on base somehow. 2 2 pitch. And that hit him. So the tying run will come to the plate, and it'll be Eloy Jimenez. MacArthur delivers. Breaking ball, low and outside. Jimenez checked his swing. He went around. Strike three. First base umpire Jordan Baker says he swung, and the game is over. The Royals blank the White Sox 2-0 and take game one of his three-game series at guaranteed rate field. Seth Lugo delivers seven shutout innings, his fourth and best quality start. Chris Stratton and James MacArthur combined for the final two innings. And the Royals' offense gets just enough.